welcome everybody um, and development what are the meaning of growth and development growth is the process of physical maturation result in an increase in size of the body and various organs it's a quantitative change of the body which can be measured in, in centimeter and bond or kilograms it's a progressive and measurable phenomenon while the development is the process of functional and physiological maturation of the individual it's a progressive increase in skill and capacity to function this is include psychological emotional and social change development is a qualitative aspect of maturation what are the differences between growth and development the differences between growth and development growth is quantitative change while the development is qualitative aspect of maturation and the growth is a physical maturation while the development is physiological maturation is dealt with increase in skill and capacity to function let's go to the next slide there are many stages of growth and development all the children all the human should pass this is this stage because there are many stages should be passing in our lifespan the first stage we go from conception to delivery this is stage called embryo and fetus embryo it mean or uh, it's deal with the first trimester of gestation and the fetus is deal with the second and third trimester of the gestation age after birth from 1 to 28 days of life this period called newborn baby while in the one month to one year this period called infant the other period from one to three years this period called toddler stage the other called preschool stage or preschool age this period between three to below six years of age six years to 12 years this the period of school age and the next 12 to 18 years this period deal with the puberty and adolescence i mean in our lifespan there are many factors influencing growth and development one of them the genetic factors we have get the physical features from parent according to genetic factors including sex and race this is very important in our physical features factors influencing the growth and development is dealing with environment factors include prenatal and postnatal factors prenatal factors it mean when the child i mean sorry i mean when the fetus life in the uterus affect with maternal nutrition affect with maternal infection affect with maternal substance abuse affect with maternal illness and hormones Well, postnatal factors can be internal or external. It depends on nutrition of the child, childhood illness, physical and psychological environment. Also, there are factors dealing with socio-economic status, climate and season, play and exercise. Birth order of the child is very important because there are differences between the first birth order of the child and the middle or the late intelligence or hormonal influences dear students
there are patterns of growth and development. In this stage or in this slide, we can focus on the two types of patterns of growth and development. The first patterns called cephalocaudal. Cephalocaudal it means the development start from head to tail direction. The head regions start to grow at first, following by which other organs start developing. As example, the child use their eyes before their hands, gain control of their hands before they have control of their feet. While the, proxy, the proximodestal, it means the development begins from near to far. Trend applied to the midline to peripheral. As example, the spinal cord develop before outer part of the body. The child's arm develop before the hands. Look the other This image is as example for cephalocaudal. The development began from head to the tail. While proximodostal, it means the development begins from the spinal cord, from the midline, from the central to the peripheral. That means proximodostal. There are many types of growth charts. What are the growth charts? The growth chart is a visual display of the child's physical growth and development. This is growth chart, visual display to follow up the growth of the child from birth to his life or from birth to above. Growth charts are used to compare the child height, weight, and head circumference against children of the same age. Types of growth chart. There are two types very important to know, according to CDC, from birth to 36 months. Dealing with weight for age, from birth to 36 weeks, or, sorry, weight for age, bear to 36 months, length for age bear to 36 months, head circumference from bear to 36 months and weight for length. The other type from 2 years to 20 years, dealing with weight for age, stature for age, body mass index for age from 2 years to 20 years. Should be no. The types of growth chart may be according to color the blue for boys and the pink for the girls. The mistake if you doing the boys by pink growth chart or the girl by boys blue chart. Why? Because there are differences between boys and girls according to height, weight. The right doing. You should do the blue chart for boys and the pink chart for girls. There are any tests used for developing called Denver Developing Screen Test. 1 and 2, but in this slide, Denver Development Seeking Test 2 include personal social, dealing with the, how the child act and react to people, dealing with the steady fine motor adaptive, dealing with the, how the child use language and cues, dealing with the, how the child use gross motor, it's very important to study the child development, especially from birth to six years. Thank you, dear student. Question of the lectures. What are the causes of mental retardation? What are the causes of cretinism?
إلى هنا تنتهي محاضرتنا هذا اليوم أعزائي الطلبة تقبلوا تحياتي أنا مدرسكم مدرس مساعد محمد عبار شرهان التدريس في قسم التمريض أرسل لي تقرير عن محاضرة اليوم تبين به أهم ما جاء بالمحاضرة وما هي المعلومات التي لم تفهمها لنوضحها لكم على موقع جوجل كلاس روم